Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Trader's Journey on YouTube. Today I'm going to be covering off my favorite indicator for 2020 and going into 2021, I'll be making use of this indicator. Just before I get into this video, if you haven't checked out my Instagram yet, it is TraderJourney underscore official. Be sure to check it out as I provide daily updates and daily tips and tricks for trading. So feel free to DM me there if you have any questions. Um, so let's get into this video. For So volume, guys, is probably one of my favorite indicators, but that isn't exactly what this indicator shows. Now, this indicator is my favorite because it actually shows you buyers versus sellers. Now, I'm going to go over why that's important and why that will help you profit a lot in 2021 with this indicator. Now, I'm just going to go over a few few different types of indicators. Now, we have two types of indicators. You have one indicator that reacts. There's types of indicators that react to historical prices and there's indicators that react to live prices. Now, indicators that are reliant on historical prices are not as accurate in predicting the future as live sort of live indicators that are reacting to current price movements. Now, there's only obviously only a couple of indicators that actually react to live prices and allow you to trade based on live indications, whereas historical price points and indicators that react to historical prices are obviously not as accurate as live trading indicators. So I'm going to go through this specific indicator and show you exactly how it works and why it's helped me um, become profitable in 2020 and why it's going to be the key indicator which I use for 2021. So as you can see here charted, we have Tesla. Um, I've got the 30 minute time frame up. You can see there's a clear uptrend um, on Tesla, which I've also covered on my previous video. I'm actually making use of this uptrend and the bounces to profit off of this stock. But what I've also highlighted on this chart is yellow vertical lines. I don't know if you can see them. Hopefully you can. I will try and um, increase the, the width of each one. So you can see I've got these yellow vertical lines. Now these yellow vertical lines are going to show you how this indicator works at key points in a, in a particular chart. So let me quickly just make sure these yellow lines are easily visible for you guys. And I'm going to talk you through why this works. But um, keep in mind, yep, yeah, it does work well, this indicator. Um, it does work similar to how volume works, but this indicator is showing you the buyers a comparison is, is helping you compare how many buyers there are compared to how many sellers there are is helping you compare how much bu buying volume there is in comparison to selling volume now the indicator is shown here towards the bottom of the screen you can see this blue and red color indicator now i'll briefly discuss what this is showing the blue line is your buyers and the red line is your sellers now when the buyers uh, when the blue line is above your red line that shows that buyers are higher than sellers when your red line is above the blue line that shows that you have more sellers than buyers so very easy to understand hopefully you guys understand the concept of this indicator now with these yellow vertical lines which i've highlighted on the chart let's go through the first one now what's key here is when you look at the indicator at this particular price level you notice there is a sudden spike in the blue line now this shows that buyers have a lot of buyers are stepping in at this price point and sellers have also subsequently dropped um, and you can see the red line dropping now this particular area is a very would have been a very good entry as the you could actually zoom in here just to get a better view of it which i will do so as you can see, the blue line is stepping away from the red line on this indicator, indicating that buyers are pushing the price higher. And you can see that and that reflects here on the price point and the chart of the candles. So what you want to be watching out for in this indicator is when each line steps away from each other. The blue line is extended above the red line. The red line is extending down or stepping away from the blue line. This shows that buyers are taking control of the stock. Now you can do the same thing when you are looking for a sell off. So in this particular instance, you could have bought calls here um, as you saw buyers stepping in as it as it gapped up past a particular area of resistance or support, or if it bounced above a particular trend line indicating buyers are stepping in, that is a very good point of entry. So you can use this for extra confirmation for your trades. Um, but this particular green candle, you can see buyers stepped in, sellers stayed where they were, they didn't stay in line with buyers. If sellers and buyers both leveled up, you wouldn't 
that would not be a good indication to enter a trade. You want to make sure that the blue line steps away from the red line or the red line moves away from the blue line or vice versa. Similarly, guys, if you wanted to see, for instance, a sell off here would have been a good area. Let me just copy this vertical line so you guys can clearly see this in action. So you could have had a sell off here as the red line stepped away from the blue line. That is an indication of more sellers driving the price down. So that would have been a good indication to go short on the stock. And again, you had huge selling volume in comparison to buying volume, which indicates here this huge red candle. So you can see simply how this works, guys. It's very easy, but it will complement your trading very well. Now here again, buyers dipped real a lot here with Tesla and sellers kept active. So as they stepped away, this would have been a very good point of entry um, in addition to your, your price levels. If you've got your resistance and support lines charted, make sure you use those in, in um, you use them together with your price levels as this will work even better. So as your sellers stepped up, your buyers dropped off, you saw this huge sell off here on Tesla and it came back down to your, it came back down to your sort of trend line um, and then it reversed and when it reversed, you saw your buyer stepping in, which would have been a good point of reversal. And you see this big hammer candlestick. The anatomy of this candle indicates there's going to be a reversal. So this is just for extra confirmation. You wouldn't use this indicator on its own, but this is one of my favorite indicators. It's what I'm going to be using for 2021. And you can see here a very, very key indication of buyers and a huge run up on Tesla, which we saw last week. If you saw that the buyers stepped away from the sellers in such a dramatic way, you could see there's a huge um, influx of buyers here and the sellers pointed downwards, the blue line stepping upwards, indicating huge buying pressure and Tesla continued to rally up. So that is a very good indication to enter a trade. And um, this, indi this indicator is probably one of my favorites, one of my best, and has helped me a lot for um, entry entry points and exit points. Because if you see, if you went long on a stock and you saw buyers stepping off, that is indication to exit the trade because your buyers are losing losing momentum. Your sellers are stepping in. Um, it's a good time. It's a good time to to exit a trade if you're going long on stock. So I hope this. I hope you guys understand how this indicator works. Um, is much better than volume on its own because volume does not show you um, volume by buyer or volume by seller, but this indicator does. It's much better than those uh, volume bars. So if you don't want to use the volume on its own, you I would highly suggest you use this indicator as it will show you buyers and sellers separately. Um, volume on its own is not enough. You want to be sure you want to be seeing buyers and sellers separately. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Feel free to hit me up on Instagram. Just before I let you guys go, I have opened my Discord chat. So hit the link if you want to join the Discord chat. Um, it is a paid for membership service. I will be offering up a different type of membership just for signals and setups. Um, which will be a lot lot cheaper if anyone's interested in that or if they can't afford the full membership um, so stay tuned for that guys and i will keep you posted across instagram and my social media so thanks very much for watching i will catch you all on the next video take care goodbye